are the new Power Beats or Power Beats 4, successors to the Power Beats 3. Now, besides the boost in battery life, these have a few features that might just make them enticing for some. But before we get to that, here's what you get in the box. First thing you'll see is the earbuds themselves, but moving those over, underneath that we have the color matching silicone tips in case the pre installed ones don't fit. And a now upgraded fast fuel USB A to Lightning charging cable. So if you are in the Apple ecosystem, you should feel right at home. Finally, you have a drawstring carrying pouch for transporting your Powerbeats around. Unfortunately, there's no dedicated charging case like the ones found with the Powerbeats Pro. These do start at 149 and come in three different color variations. Now, besides the red here, there's a more subtle white and black colorway available. These do improve in design compared to its predecessor. You can almost compare them to its more expensive counterpart, the Powerbeats Pro, with the addition of the wraparound wire, of course. Now, the button controls are located on the right ear, but only along with the ball controls and the charging port while the left earbud hosts the power on and off button. Small detail I noticed with these is you actually need to apply some pressure when clicking the playback controls. Usually for example with the airpods you would just be able to tap the side of the earbud and you're good to go. It's a small detail that I found a bit annoying at times since there were times that I did not register some of my taps or clicks. Also a quick side note these don't carry the auto play or pause feature when removing them from your ears so keep that in mind when checking these out. Apple does mention that these have the same reinforced water and sweat resistant certification as the Powerbeats Pro, so we can safely say that these are IPX4 rated. Also included is Apple's H1 chip here for faster and seamless pairing, as well as the Hey voice command that invokes Apple's voice assistant, so no having to hold or tap any buttons unless of course you want to. The H1 also helps with the now improved 15 hours of battery life here, which is more than enough for the average user. Keep in mind, of course, that because they don't have a dedicated charging case, you are going to have to remember to plug these in as opposed to just throwing them into a charging case like something like the Powerbeats Pro. Also, five minutes of charging will get you about an hour of playback with their fast fuel feature, which I tested and is fairly accurate. In addition, Apple does mention that these have basically the same drivers as the more expensive Powerbeats Pro, so you are going to be getting a similar experience with these. They are punchy, so you will notice some bass with these while the mids are reduced a bit. Overall, if you want a good pair of wireless earbuds that will conveniently offer great battery life and some additional features, if of course you use an iOS device, then definitely consider a pair. Again, these will run you about $149, so if you were on the fence about either buying these or the Pro version because of the sound, mind you that they basically sound the same. Anyways, hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Sub for more, and we'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.